Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to Ace Academy, a safe space in which we be awesome, or mm-mm-mm, the water feels nice. Show's kinda weird, just staring at me like that, wearing very little clothing, but whatever. I'm not gonna hold it against him. I'm especially not gonna hold myself against him, so, you know. I'm straight. Well, actually, I'm demisexual, but have a leaning towards females. Anyway. I listen to the soft sounds of nature mixed with the low murmur of voices from other patrons. The waters are mostly still, only rippling when someone enters or leaves the spring. The water gently eases out on any remaining tension in my muscles. And as I let out a deep breath, I wish this moment could last forever. Oh, that's foreshadowing for immediate perviness. Hey, guys. Or just somebody else to be there. Fair enough. Akira? It was foreshadowing for the moment to be interrupted. I just wasn't sure how. I blinked my eyes open at the sound of a familiar voice. Akira has a small towel resting on his head. Uh, sure. Fancy seeing you here. Fancy meeting you here. I was just about to say that to you. What are you doing here? This is ours. Get out. We can't stay on campus today. So instead of practicing, my team and I decided to do the next best thing. Heal in the hot springs. Yeah, that's what we had. That was Sho's idea, actually. But, you know, we're taking credit for it. Let's go to the other men in the spring. I wonder if they all look my age. That's why everyone looks so familiar. I feel like you would have noticed that earlier. I'm surprised we didn't recognize you guys. Akira smiles. We look different without our uniforms. It took me a few minutes before I recognized you two. Yeah, that's not how human recognition works. It's not based on clothing. It's based on physical movement and mannerisms, as well as just appearance. People have been recognizing me by my hair my entire life. Even after I get a cut. Somehow. It's just people recognize people based on just the way they move and, and talk and are. Not what they wear. So, I've never... This is a trope I see regularly in anime, and I'm just like, that doesn't make any sense to me. In the distance, I hear a high-pitched squeal. Was that the girls? Ah, uh, Akira's here, so we're gonna talk about a pervy thing. I think so. Their spring is right next to ours. Show perks up. Really? Yes. Yeah. Wonder what they're talking about. <laughs> Me just casually wondering about their conversation. Let's find out. Yeah, this is what I knew would happen. You mean eavesdrop? It's not eavesdropping if we're just checking on their well-being. It is 100% eavesdropping even if you're checking on their well-being. Especially if they don't know. Which is fucking awful. You should... Well, I was going to say a few choice words, but, uh... I'm not much for condoning suicide, so I'm not gonna actually say them. You should not! You should not do that! This can only end poorly, Great Mind Single Light. This can only end poorly. Absolutely end awfully. Awfully. I don't know, I've seen enough anime to know how this ends. Show laughs. Lucky for us, we aren't in an anime. We'll be fine. You're in a video game ba- <sighs> Whatever. Doesn't make me feel any more confident about this decision. Akira climbs out of the water. Oh, he's a perv too! Okay. I know a way we can slip in unseen. Fucking phenomenal! How exactly do you know this? You know... Oh, you know, I, I wasn't one, I didn't think I'd wake up and, you know, commit sexual assault, but here we are. I can't give away my sources. You're about to. Sho and I look at each other, then shrug. I might have expected this type of behavior from Sho, but definitely not Akira, even though I know very little about him, so that, <laughs> that observation is unbased. We follow him out of the pool and into the changing room where we each grab towels, then Akira leads us, uh, excuse me, through an employee, uh, <clears throat> still taste that pizza, it was a good pizza, uh, an employee entrance and into a, a tunneled hallway. The hallway opens up right beside a large rock enclave surrounded, surrounding the woman's hot spring, which keeps us perfectly out of sight to be fucking stalkers, let's see, uh, criminals, um, monsters, crimes against humans. Uh, the li I can keep going. <laughs> Giggles afloat, uh, afloat around as we peek over the rocks. Just our luck. Valerie, Yuna, Mayu, Kairi, and May are in front of us. Uh, are right in front of us. Sho and I share a look as if to silently ask May's here too. Then we shrug if Akira's here, if it only makes sense that May would be here too. 
How did I know exactly this would happen? The instant a hot springs was mentioned, I'm like, exactly this will happen. Okay. Are they comparing breast sizes? Because that's what women do in real life. Truth or dare? Dare. Okay, truth. What? No, I picked dare. Right, truth. Okay. May turns to the rest of the girls. What should we ask her? May blushes. Uh, uh, what is it like being with a boy? <laughs> yeah, this is not past the Bechdel test. Is that what it's called? Uh, that thing where women only ever talk about guys or something. I don't remember. Everyone stares at her with wide eyes and maybe his face turns even redder. Uh, why would you ask me that? Because... you know... All we've ever gone to is third base, okay? I've n I haven't swung a home run yet. Even Kaori's cheeks are pink, but I can't tell whether it's from the question or the heat of the water. Valerie blinks. Oh, right, um, okay. You see... Voice trails off, uh, and my breath catches in my throat. Is this really happening right now? Show and Akira both focus intently on the conversation. Ah. Uh. <laughs> if I were to be in such a situation in real life, um, not actually here, because what I would do is I'd say, go fucking kill yourselves by the women beating the shit out of you. I'm going to stay here and not be a problem, not be fucking toxic masculinity. How do I put this? She pauses again as she thinks. Okay, basically, imagine you have a motherboard. On the different sockets, you have to add the different components. So first you put in the CPU, and then the RAM, a graphics card, some sort of storage drive. Oh, and the power supply. You can't forget the power supply. That is what? Uh, supplies power. <laughs> okay, then. Once all those pieces are ready, then it's time to make sure all the wires are connected. Some graphics cards require a 6-pin connector, while others use an 8-pin. Some also require two sets of connectors, depending on the power draw requirements. I'll be honest, uh, when this scene started, when I woke up this morning, I didn't realize that I would be listening in on how computers work. <laughs> it's also important to pick a good case because you want to make sure everything is well protected but still has strong airflow. Having a strong cooling system is important. Like, she's talking about how <laughs> it is to be with a guy, but like, it's, it's a metaphor, obviously. And like, everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's a metaphor. Um, yeah, just, yeah, that's, that's, that's amusing to me. Valerie continues with their explanation. The girls struggle to follow along. Mayu's brows are furrowed, furrowed, but she nods ever so often, every so often, listening closely to Valerie's words. Yuna just plain, uh, just seems plain confused, although she's trying her best to follow along. Kaori frowns thoughtfully, and I can almost see the gears in her brain trying to piece together the image Valerie's describing. Only May sits with an eyebrow raised and, uh, and her arms across her chest. None of this makes sense. Valerie freezes and looks a little panicked. <laughs> That's adorable. What? May studies Valerie's expression with this and, and discomfort. Then she smiles triumphantly as if she solved the puzzle. <laughs> oh, you've never actually been with. Valerie laughs loudly over May's voice. <laughs> You're so silly, May. What are you even talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You silly. <laughs> Your analogy doesn't describe it at all. Kauri crosses her arms. If she's not right, then what's it supposed to be? Okay. <laughs> God, I hate it when they portray women, like, even in high school and college, as, like, fucking stupid when it comes to sex or sexuality. Like, uh, <laughs> come on. Well, when a man and a woman love each other very much. Well, if that happens, a lot of time it doesn't. And then they noticed us. Look over at Sho, he had leaned too far forward and accidentally wobbled an unstable pedal, which rolled into the spring. At, as one, the girls look over in our direction, then shriek. Run! How did I know exactly this would happen? We scramble into the safety of the hallway and head back into the men's changing room. Do you think they saw us? Obviously. Probably saw you. 
The blood leaves Sho's face. No! Akira, please, tell me otherwise. It was pretty dark. Maybe they just saw a silhouette. They know it's us. For your sake, I hope that's all they saw. If I fall, I'm dragging you down with me. <laughs> Fuck you. Me, I was in the men's hot spring the entire time. Isn't that right, Akira? Of course. You guys! Also, they saw all three of us. Once our pounding heart subsided, we returned to the men's hot springs as if nothing happened. I thought we already had, but sure. As soon as, we, uh, as soon as our time was up, we left with the rest of the group. This way, it could have been anyone who disturbed the girls. Which is fucking disgusting. Akira rejoins his teammates while Sho and I change back into our clothes. We wait for the girls in the hotel lobby. They're pissed off at us because fucking obviously. I agreed to meet here for dinner, right? Sho answers nervously. Yep. After 15 minutes, they still haven't emerged. Sho shifts from foot to foot. Do you think they really saw me there and now they've gone ahead without us? Um... Yes. I wouldn't blame them. We kind of deserve uh, it if they did. Sho has the decency to look sheepish. I didn't realize girls talked about such private things. Oh no, it's almost as if women are three-dimensional creatures that aren't just fucking eye candy for men. My god, what a revelation! Neither did I. What if this is all part of their plan for revenge? Leave us here waiting while they're all eating delicious food and laughing at us. I mean, I doubt it, but uh, hypothetically that could be the case. Or maybe they've retired to one of their hotel rooms, dressed in their PJs. Continuing their conversation? That is 100% not what's happening. <laughs> I'm just going to stop you right there. But I was just getting to the good part. Yeah, that's pretty lame revenge as far as revenges go. Also, the fact that your brain, that's the first place, well, it's the second place you went. Still, the fact that you can assume that at all means you're the problem. Buddy, my bro, bro Sif, if you prefer. You're a fucking sex criminal. Like, my god! I suppose that's true. This isn't how real people work. Wait for a while longer before the girls finally appear. Kauri glowers, glowers, glower, I've never known how to pronounce that one, at us as she marches over. Valerie and Yuna both look grave, and even Mayu looks stern. Sho leans over to me. Oh god, they know. Should we just tell them? Obviously. The girls finally pause in front of us. Um, are you okay? No, they're not. Kari glares at the two of us and crosses her arms. Of course not. We are surrounded by perverts. Correct. Joe's eyes widen in panic and even I'm beginning to feel anxious. I was just teasing him before, but maybe they really did see us. Come clean. Fucking idiot. We're really sorry. Impressive. The girls look at each other in surprise, but Carrie narrows her eyes. I had a feeling it was you two. Hey, don't drag me into this. This is all Bros's idea. Yeah, sure. Don't listen to him. Of course it was his idea. Please. This type of thing just screams show. So you believe me? Well, yeah, I came clean immediately. <laughs> I believe that show was involved. Hey, Broseph could have acted alone. There was three guys there. Nope. Not likely. I don't think so. <laughs> -uh. Yeah, I, I don't paint myself as the dude who fucking does shit like that. And he shakes her head. And the girls even hesitated before answering. Wow, even you, Mayu? <laughs> she looks away. Sorry. I can't believe you pervs were spying on us. What were you hoping to see? I was hoping to see nothing, as I didn't want to be there in the first place. Nothing? That really gives him a blank look. I mean, we weren't spying. We were eavesdropping. I wouldn't say that so proudly. How is that better? <laughs> it isn't. Dare I ask why? We heard someone shriek and wanted to make sure nobody was hurt. That is incorrect. I just lied right now. That's that's what the lie looks like. Maya looks alarmed and she blushes deeply. Valerie bursts out laughing. You know, hides a smile and even Carrie looks amused. It's a weird reaction. What happened exactly? Spider called on Mayu. Ah, so we're just gonna brush this off then. Oh, it freezes after her outburst. Show and I exchange a look. S sorry to have troubled you. We're just glad that you're okay. Okay. 
I use smiles weekly. Thanks for your concern. No problem. Kyrie crosses her arms. You're not going to get off the hook that easily. Thank you, Kyrie. We're sorry, but we're we were genuinely we weren't we weren't at all concerned. Yeah, if you didn't want us over there, you shouldn't have screamed. That's fucking awful. Please shut your mouth and never speak again. Shell, please. What? That's true. Let's just accept their apology and move forward. I think more should be done. Perhaps an intervention of some type, but that's fine. What? Yuna sighs. Clearly it was a misunderstanding, and I'm sure the boys have learned their lesson, right? I certainly learned that there's no escaping such things, but I don't know about show. Yep. There's no point in going back and forth anymore, and there's nothing else to say about the matter. Oh, that's, that's, that's just not healthy thinking right there. Kyrie scowls, but reluctantly agrees. Fine, but if I catch you guys doing something like that again, I'm going to make you regret you were born. Uh-huh. Yes, ma'am. I promise we won't do it. I promise I won't do it again. Since that's all settled, does that mean we can finally go eat? Ah. Uh, <laughs> Carrie sighs. Yes, we can go eat. Finally. I thought my stomach was going to eat itself. You're so dramatic. I'm pretty hungry too, actually. So am I. Let's go then. <sighs> it's guys like this that really make me fucking want to stab. Yuna leads the way as the team continues to tease show. The tension from before dissipates as everyone speculates about tonight's meal. This didn't go as badly as I thought it would. I'm just glad it was behind us now. When we arrive at the dining hall, we settle down at our table. The hotel offers a pre-fix meal. Sure. Pre-fee? Pre-fi? I don't know how to pronounce that second word there. Um... Uh, menu. So all we had to do was confirm our, our number for uh, f of diners. What? Then the waitress put us the orders for our meals. This is this like JustEat.com or something? I don't know what the hell's happening. Whatever happened to May? She didn't want to stay after the incident, so she went to find her teammates. Understandable. Did she ever finish explaining? None of your business! I honestly forget what she was talking about. All the girls' faces turn red, even Valerie's. I wonder if that means she did finish. Oh, wait, right, they were talking about having sex with dudes. Because that's all women talk about, right? Soon the food arrives. It's a simple tray of rice, fish, and pickled vegetables. We quiet down as we all dig in. Um, I hadn't realized how hungry I was until now. I feel a buzz in my pocket. As I pull out my phone, I notice all my teammates are checking their phones, too. It's a group email from Dashi. They're reminding us about our coaching session that was scheduled for tomorrow. It seems they've received confirmation that Coach Ivan, 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 Coach Ivan, will be on the campus to give us a few pointers before our match on Thursday. Why can't they just all appear at the same time? It would take less time. You know, where's a broad grin? Did you all get that email? Yeah. I'm so glad Coach Ivan will be on campus. I thought there was a comma there, so I was confused why she acted like there wasn't one. Me too! Oh, he's one of my idols. Really? Of course! He's a working legend! Oh, uh, does he play World of Tanks? Oh, uh, wait, no, World of War- whatever. World of Warships. Um, how come I've never heard of him before? He's almost as famous as the Akamis. Akemis? Akemikars? Show looks thoughtful. Actually, Mayu, doesn't your family know him? Yes, but not very well. They respect each other, of course, but aren't close friends. That's why I've never met him. Uh-huh. I'm looking forward to what he can teach this team. There's a reason why he's won three championships and received the MVP award twice. I mean, impressive. I'll give you that. That's impressive. Oh, this guy sounds impressive. <laughs> Thanks for stealing my word, asshole. I heard no matter where he goes, he always wears his signature helmet. I always heard of him, too? Huh, I've heard that, too. I wonder if we'll wear, he'll wear it tomorrow. Probably. The team continues to talk excitedly about tomorrow's training session. I soak in every I soak in every story or rumor the team shares about him, and the more I hear about him, the more enthusiastic I feel about meeting him. After we finish up our meals, I want to take another dip into that hot spring. After all, my first session was kind of interrupted. Sho happily agrees, but the girls firmly refuse. Obviously. They say they're good nights and retire to their rooms. 
Joe and I relax in the hot water until the uh, bath, until we're both stifling yawns. Oh, stifling as in the verb, not the adjective. Um, then we decide to return to our rooms as well. Our room we're sharing. After all, we have an early morning train to catch. I'm exhausted and collapse onto my bed. As soon as my head hits the pillow, I fall asleep. But that'll have to be it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I, of course, am Kiwi. I'm great too. And you have yourself a life of day. Um, and remember, uh, women are not for your eyes. They're human beings. They can objectify people too, but it doesn't make it right. So don't fucking propagate this type of mentality, you fucking asshole. Anyway, that'll have to be it for this one. Goodbye!